would you guys end up project? project? It's like two blocks down this way, it's a lot over. Next to it. Is it Knott's? Uh, it's the one that's like right next to the Oh, I'm not sure it's Calvert's Garage. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Governor Hogan, you're on Santa's naughty list, and here's your bag of coal! Uh, we're standing out here to deliver uh, coal to Governor Hogan for not pulling through in providing us with the safety study we politely asked for for Christmas. We've been asking for the safety study since uh, 2013, obviously not just to uh, Governor Hogan, but also to Martin O'Malley. Um, and um, he doesn't seem to understand the urgency uh, that people in Cove Point face. Uh, Cove Point is a community, it's not a, it's not a frack gas refinery. Um, but literally there are people living right across the street from this refinery and uh, this is orders of magnitude more dangerous than the facility that was there. And basically the facility that was there had been mothballed for about 40 years. So it really didn't pose any danger the way it, the way it operated before Dominion took over. The frack gas refinery power plant liquefaction export facility. And this is of no benefit to anyone in the state of Maryland. The, the Public Service Commission even stated that this has the net uh, benefit is negative. Um, and it's yet, just for and export, they, right? And, and, yeah, because it's just it's just for export. And this is in 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 helping you know uh, line Dominion's coffers. This is also endangering not just our community, but all the communities that are affected by the pipelines and the compressor stations and the frack wells. Uh, so we're talking about uh, this being pretty wide-reaching: Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, not just Maryland. But now I'm worried about my community and what what's going to protect my community from this stuff. Because even if the worst case doesn't happen, there's all the pollution, and we know all that pollution. Uh, the you know the volatile organic compounds, the greenhouse gases, all of those are going to contribute to the health of our community, uh, making it an unhealthy community. Aren't they all corrupt? Yeah. <laughs> they just need to fade away.